In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Credit Bank and Transcript to view the professional development credits earned for certification. Begin by logging into your Performance Matters account and locating the transcript information by following the navigation specific to your organization's site. Most organizations display three sections of information, Credential Status, Credit Bank, and Transcript, but this may vary depending on your district or state. The Credential Status section displays your current certifications and the expiration date. A status icon is displayed before each certification to alert you to pending expiration dates. Use the key below the credentials list to view what each status icon represents. Click on the plus icon in front of the credentials name to expand the credential and view additional information. The minus icon will collapse the view. The Credit Bank section is used to keep track of qualifying professional development credits, which may be accumulated for the renewal of a certificate. Some users may see a point banking disclaimer with an important message regarding credit reset dates or other applicable information. Type refers to the credit that is non-bankable or bankable as per the discretion of the district or state. Units may vary by credits or hours depending on your district or state. Non-bankable represents the number of credits or hours that are tied to a specific certification and can't be saved beyond the reset date. Bankable displays credits or hours that are not tied to any specific certification. These can be accumulated and saved indefinitely to be applied towards recertification in accordance with your district or state policies. Total represents the entire amount of non-bankable and bankable credits or hours a user has earned completing a professional development activity. Last reset is a specified date that reflects when credits have been deducted from the non-bankable and or bankable areas. The last reset date is often used to reflect when the certification of a user was last renewed. Resetting the credit bank expires all accrued non-bankable credits that were earned on or before the date selected, but bankable credits are carried over. The transcript section displays details for each course taken to accrue professional development credits for recertification. To locate a specific course, you can use a search tool above the transcript to enter dates the course was completed or ended. You can also use the tabs to view courses taken for a specific certification type. Use the print button above the transcript to print a list of the courses or the email PDF button to send the list to someone. Please note that the totals displayed at the bottom of the transcript reflect historical data for all accrued credits and should not be considered as totals for certificate renewal. The information under the credit bank is a more accurate count to use when determining how many credits have been completed for an upcoming renewal. This concludes the tutorial on using the credit bank and transcript to view your professional development credits for certification.